My father, my Baba, Abbas Mahmoud Yusuf, was born and raised in a small village called Jibbin in the south of Lebanon. He is one of 11 kids, fathered by Mahmoud and mothered by Kimli. The family had lived a peasant life, raising cows, donkeys, hens, roosters, and pigeons, harvesting wheat, barley, lentils, and most importantly, tobacco. As a member of the family, you contributed to the harvesting as soon as you could hold a jug of water, which started at about six years old. Planting tobacco required full family participation, from planting the seeds and small plants, to harvesting the tobacco leaves, arranging them in strings, drying them, and putting them together in bales to sell to the government. Although they were very poor, they always had food on the table. Only rarely would they have meat. It was too expensive to buy for a family that big. Baba remembers his mother gathering the leftover bones from the animals, taking the meat off the bones, and making kibbe out of it. His most vivid memory was seeing his mother cry very hard because her cow had died from a snake bite. While Baba was in elementary school, his father recognized his intelligence and wanted that he continue on the path of education, which was not common for young children in the village. So my grandfather, Majiddu, wrote a letter to the president of Lebanon at the time and went to visit him in the palace to present his proposition. After that, Jiddu visited social services in Beirut and followed the process to put his kids in government-sponsored boarding school. Baba then attended vocational school and finished middle school by passing a standardized test and ranking third in Lebanon in his age group. Next step was attending high school, 200 kilometers from the village, but he didn't get to finish high school right away due to the civil war breaking out in 1975. His high school was in East Beirut, mainly occupied by Christians, so Baba wasn't allowed to stay there. In 1976, no schools were in session, so that summer, Baba went to Syria and then Jordan to find work and ended up in Saudi Arabia with a 15-month visa, working as an electrician. After leaving Saudi Arabia in 1978, Baba returned to Lebanon to finish his last year of high school. He passed the national exam and was a metal worker before obtaining an I-20 university acceptance document to come to the United States. On May 7, 1979, Baba arrived in the U.S. on a student visa with $500 cash in his pocket and a $2,000 cashier check. Originally on his way to the University of Toledo, Baba coincidentally ran into an old friend who introduced him to Wayne State University, which solidified Baba's decision to stay in Detroit. First, Baba had to take English classes at Wayne for three months, and then he was able to attend Lawrence Tech to study electrical engineering. His first job was as a busboy at a local Coney Island, getting paid under the table, while living with two friends in a small apartment. In the summer of 1980, he transferred to Wayne State, where he made the honor roll at the College of Engineering. On December 21st, 1980, Baba married his first wife, Teresa, and that following April, he received his green card. In December of 1982, Baba graduated with his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, but he struggled to find a job, therefore deciding to continue for a graduate degree. After a fallout in October of 1983, Baba and Teresa divorced. But two months later, Baba finished his master's degree and found a job with General Motors as an engineer in Anderson, Indiana. A couple years later, September 1986 to be exact, Baba enrolled at Wayne State to pursue his PhD in electrical engineering while working and teaching at Lawrence Tech. One month later, he became a U.S. citizen. In June 1st of the next year, Baba married my mama, Najwa Haj Hassan. Their family started to grow in October 1988, when my sister, Camilia, was born. July 1991 brought them their first son, Mazin. Then, with a growing family, Baba continued working on his doctorate and graduated with a PhD on May 3, 1992. In September of that year, I was born, and four years later in July, my younger brother, Ayman, was born. Even with a large family to take care of, Baba never gave up on education. In 1997, he pursued his MBA at Northwood University, raising his total degree count to four. Baba started his life as a child of poor village peasants, picking tobacco and eating leftover meat from the bones of animals. Baba blossomed his life into a fulfilling academic journey, focusing on providing opportunities for his children, their children, and generations to come.